Hi there, welcome to Prenti. In this video, we will discuss the stringing issue in a simple way. We will see some examples, solutions, and some other tips. For slicing, I will use Cura. You can have the same setting on Simplify 3D in Trusha Slicer. To experiment this issue, I created this model of a tower. I made the extruded surfaces of the tower in reversed angles, so I can see the quality of the surface per case experimented. The option that we are going to use is the retraction option. In the first case, retraction will be enabled, but only with standard seating. As you can see here, the retraction is on. The speed is about 45 mm per second and the distance of retraction is only 5 mm. Let's go ahead and print the part with these settings. Well, this is not what we wanted. I didn't get it at that time. I didn't know what makes these strings pierce. Even though the retraction option is on. Because of that, we are going to make the second experiment. This time, we will change the default setting. I just tried to double the values we have in the default settings. 45 will be 90 and 5 mm of the retracted material will be 10 mm. Yes, that's really remarkable. The strings are less than the first experiment. Maybe if we keep change on the setting, we will have better results. As the second experiment, now we are going to triple the values. The speed now will be 125 mm per second and the distance of retracted material will be 15 mm. That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Yes, that's what we wanted. Difference is very obvious. That's enough for me. I can be much more confident working on new projects. But what we can say that the default settings are not really that bad, but also doesn't make the best part you wanted. In fact, it depends on the part itself. Maybe you have heard of these two options also in many other videos talking about the combing and the coasting coasting turns off the extruder before the final wall of the profile with that the pressure build up in the hot end decrease and minimizes any blobbing left by the retraction but i don't found it an efficient tool to use also it may create gaps between material in the other hand, combing, it limitates the travel of the nozzle within the part material. This way, you can avoid stringing as any hosing is left within the branch wall and infill. With that, my friends, we have reached the end of the video. I hope you have learned something new. Thank you for watching. See you soon.